Hi everyone, it's April 25th, 2020. I'm feeling optimistic because it's day 40 of the, the situation in Washington State that we've been locked down and um, it feels like in the Bible where we had 40 days, 40 days and 40 nights of rain and so, and turning on the news, Governor Inslee is starting to uh, muse the idea of uh, reopening. And um, I have a situation that highlights another weakness of mine that I hope to take away from this whole lesson of uh, what happened with COVID-19. So, as you guys know, earlier in the spring I was living in my car, which I love to do for most of the year except for when it's uh, really cold, right? And um, I, after the lockdown, I obviously mo moved into an apartment, as you can see here. Um, but my lease was supposed to end um, two days ago, right? Um, and uh, because of the uh, the the um, state of emergency that Washington is in, we're technically allowed to renew the lease at the same rate, right? They they they're not allowed to price gouge us. They can't end our lease. The problem is. Uh, I felt very uncomfortable talking about this to the landlord because I had befriended her so much over the last month. And this is a big problem of mine. I have a tendency to befriend people that I need to do business with to the point where I get uncomfortable with situations like that. Um, I, uh, I work at a tutoring center and uh, last year, at the end of the year, I took all the hours that nobody really wanted, right, during Thanksgiving, during Christmas. I'm not very religious about those holidays. I have my own personal set of holidays that I celebrate. Uh, but I, I really befriended all my coworkers and my boss to the point that they kind of knew. And so I, I really didn't get any benefit for working all those odd hours. Um, and I, I really could have done better now that I look back at it. I befriend people so much. Um, and the landlord, she's... Uh, from India, and if you know me, you know that uh, I have a crush on, on uh, people like that. Uh, Middle East, uh, Asia, and to a lesser extent Eastern Europe. I don't do very well with uh, girls from those places if I have to do business, right? I tend to blab way too much. Uh, for example, I, I was I spent a lot of time talking to my landlord about viewing the night sky and how I look forward to going back to Ellensburg to view the night sky. And just the other day, uh, because of how little pollution we have here in Seattle now, I was able to see Saturn with my naked eyes here in Seattle. Uh, you, normally you can't see you can't see it. You have to scan it with the camera. Uh, even in Ellensburg, it's pretty hard to see Saturn with your naked eyes. Uh, so I blab too much. And then when I need to, 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 to ask for uh, the lease, I mean, uh, it, it is just so awkward. I ended up writing her an email, and then I got so nervous about looking at my email. I don't know if she accepts or not. She hasn't cashed the check yet. So it's just so awkward. It's just so awkward. I, I mean, in this case, it's not the end of the world. I know she's not going to get very far if she tries to evict me or anything. I mean, the court system is probably all jammed up right now. That The courthouse is probably not, not open to anything that's not crazy, right? Um, and... Um, so it, 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 I like how it gives me a chance to practice with this issue. I mean, I have a, I have a hard time with the, the situation of how, how close I need to be with my coworkers and my boss and right now my landlord and people I need to do business with. There's a very thin line between holding hands and shaking hands, right? Uh, that's the problem, right? Uh, you obviously don't want to treat them like an enemy, uh, kind of like how a, a few weeks ago would... Russia and OPEC were, 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 were kind of uh, uh, fighting over the price of oil. That's probably not the best way to handle uh, business situations at the personal level, right? Uh, but at the same time, I, I sometimes get too too close to people, especially when I do uh, any sort of, I, I do tutoring. If I uh, do a, a deal with a, a client, like outside of the tutoring center, um, I have a hard time with those boundaries sometimes. They, they're very uh, friendly sometimes. You know, there's a lot of Asian people. They, they, think you're, uh, they think you're an extended family member. And uh, they walk all over you, right? I have clients who, uh, they cancel last minute on me. Or they, they cancel it, but they, they put it into a funny, uh, they, they, they put a funny spin to it. They ask me, you know, let's say it's a, a Friday afternoon, right? And they cancel, 
and they ask me what my plans are, am I, am I going on a date with a girl or something, because, you know, they're, they're really sorry something came up, they hope I have something better to do. Yeah, you cancelled! I mean, they, they, they put a funny spin on it uh, sometimes, and because these people are so close sometimes, it's really hard to, uh, to speak any business sense out of them. So I, 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 this is something I need to watch for. I'm so glad I got to practice. Uh, at a low-stakes table, if you will, with this COVID-19 situation. Thanks for watching.